Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a PDF reader. So before starting the development of the PDF reader, first I'm going to show you a quick overview of the app which we are going to develop throughout this entire series. So I'm going to open this and here my app is, that is PDF reader. When I click on this, the app opens. And here you can see this, for every PDF available in my device, there is a custom layout which I have designed and I have set these all in the recycler view. One image and one text is here. It's showing the name of that PDF. Okay, so I haven't set this custom name to this one. These are actually being fetched from the internal storage. So I have only two PDF and I have copied it and pasted it again. That's why you can see the similar name. So not worry about that. So when I click on this, it will open the PDF. And here you can see this, you can read this. You can zoom inside this one, just double click on this. You can zoom it and here you can see this. You can zoom more, you can zoom out like this one. It actually work as exact PDF reader. So I'm going to show you how to design this one. Okay, so let me close this app and create new project, select empty activity and click on next. I'm going to select this API 16 and name this one BD, BDIC days PDF reader and click on finish. And I've selected this API 16 and it will create a project within few seconds. So you can see this, my griddle build is running. So we have to wait for a few seconds. And almost my task is done. Okay, here you can see this. Now I'm going to start this and let's check what will show initially when I start this app. So we started this one, griddle build is running. And it's being installed in my device. And here you can see this BTEC Days PDF Reader Hello World. Nothing is inside this one. So now this is a fresh app on which we are going to work. So let me stop this. And first thing what we have to do is we have to actually add a recycler view in our main activity. So go to resources, go to layout, and here we have this activity underscore main. So double click on this. And first we have to remove this one that is text view. I don't need this. And before even starting coding over here, I need to actually add two drawable files. One is for PDF icon. You can download it from Google. And another is for one is for background for this one. So let me just open that. This one. Let me close this. And here we have two images. One is for PDF and one is for background. So I'm going to copy this and move back over here and paste in the drawable. Select this one, not this, drawable dash P24. Never select this one, select this one and click on OK and click on OK. Now here you can see this, I have one PDF and one W2 over here. Okay, so now we have the image inside this one. Now we have to start coding inside this one. So first I'm going to change the layout first. I don't want to work on the constraint layout. I'm going to work on the linear layout here. After this, I'm going to add the background inside this one. So I'm going to type background, add the way drawable and WT. W2 have added this one and here you can see this. Now we can see the drawable over here. Let me just make this one a little bit large. Yeah. After this, we need to put one recycler view inside this one. So I'm going to put the recycler view like this. And I'm going to set this one to match parent and match parent. And we need to set some ID. So ID will be recycler view so i'm going to keep it simple rv okay so here you can see this now zero one two three items is visible over here it means that recycler view is now ready inside this one after this what we have to do is we have to create a custom layout for each pdf file here you can see this inside this one i'm going to design this layout here you can see this for every pdf there is a layout attached to that which contains a fixed image and some text. So I'm going to design that. So go to layout, right click on this, click on new. And after that, select this activity. We need to create a layout resource file. Just click on this 
and it will ask for the name so I'm going to name this one RV underscore item that is the cycle view item and click on OK this will create a new resource file and here you can see this inside this one first thing what I have to do is I'm going to just remove this constraint layout to card view I need a card view this one here we go after this we have to set some properties for this one so I'm going to set some first I'm going to change this one height to wrap content after this I'm going to set some layout margin layout margin top to 8 dp margin end to 8 dp after this I'm going to set some card elevation so card elevation will be of 8 dp after this card corner radius I'm going to make the corner little bit of curve so I'm going to set this one 8 dp after this I'm going to set some card elevation we have set this card corner radius I'm going to set margin layer so here we have to set layout margin start I'm going to set this one to 8 dp and after this I'm going to set the ID for this one so ID and ID will be PDF underscore card view okay inside this card view we need two stuff first is one image view and one text view okay so we are going to put that in a layout so I'm going to create one layout that is linear layout and I'm going to name this one match parent for the width and the height will be 200 dp you can decrease or increase it as per your choice so I'm going to set the orientation for this one so orientation will be vertical and I'm going to set the padding so padding will be 8 dp after this inside this linear layout we need two stuff first is image view so I'm going to add one image view inside this one image view and I'm going to set the width to match parent and I'm going to set the height to 150 dp after this I'm going to set some margin start I'm going to set this one to 5 dp after this I'm going to set the margin top to 5 dp finally I'm going to set the image inside this one so src at the rate drawable and that is pdf which I have added initially you can download it from the google you you can easily find the one pdf icon here you can see this this is match parent and the height is 150 db okay after this we have set the image now I'm going to set the id for this one so id will be pdf underscore image view and I'm going to put some margin from the left to so margin left layout margin left to 5 db like this one now we're image view ready below this I'm going to put one text view inside this one so I'm going to create a text view so like this text view and this will be match parent and height will be 30 dp after this I'm going to set the id for this one so id will be pdf underscore txt name I've set this id for this one I'm going to set the text so that we can see the difference so I'm going to set this one to name and here you can see this the name is visible over here and it's very light of black color and we are going to put some margin padding as well so first I'm going to set the text size so I'm going to text, set the text size to 50 SP after this I'm going to set the single line because I need only single line inside this one so make this one true after this elevation not elevation ellipse size I'm going to set this one to mark you after this I'm going to set this mark you repeat limit and I'm going to set this one to mark you forever after this I'm going to set this scroll horizontally make this one true these stuff are clearly understandable by their names so I don't think I need to explain these stuff that have what is this text size what is text what is id okay so after this i'm going to set some layout margin start so i'm going to set the margin start to 5 db and i'm going to set some margin end and also i'm going to set this one to 5 db after this i'm going to put some padding and this will be 6 db okay 
now this one is looking nice and i'm going to set the height to 50 dp and we have to set the center text color i'm going to set this one to black and you can see this now this is clearly visible initially it was little bit off white so we have select set the color to black okay sorry off black now this one is black now our card view is ready after this what we have to do is we have to make the app exactly same as i have shown you inside this one so we have to change the color for this one Here you can see this the this primary color and the secondary color in this one the color is different so i'm going to change the color first so move back inside this one the values and colors and i'm going to change this one purple 500 and purple 700 why i'm going to change this one because inside the themes and if you go to theme here you can see this in the color primary this purple 500 is set and for the color primary variant this purple 700 is set so i'm going to change these two colors over here so that is 500 and 700 so i'm going to change this one first so this will be 0076E1. If you need exactly same as mine, then you can set this color code. Otherwise, you can choose any color code as per your choice. So 0V599F. And now the color code is ready. Now I'm going to start the app. Move back over here. And let's check. Yeah, here you can see this BDA Days PDF reader. Now the color is done. So next thing what we have to do is, next thing what we are going to do is, we are going to take the permission of the user to read their internal storage. For that, first thing what we have to do is just move back inside this Android manifest file and here first we have to give user permission inside this one. We have to give the permission for Android or permission read external storage because from the external storage we are going to fetch all the PDF files and show in our app. So that's why we need this permission. Now we also have to ask from the user to allow or deny when we request for the permission. For that, that task will be simplified with the help of this dependency, that is Dexter. Here, move back over here, and here you can see this Dexter is an Android library that simplifies the process of requesting permission at the runtime. In this GIF, you can see it will ask a permission like this one whenever the, our app is open for the first time, and it actually make our stuff easy. So we have to just copy this dependency and move back if you want to read more then you can just visit this url and you can read about this other stuff in the detail and move back to the android studio and go to the griddle build.griddle and here we have to paste the dependency so I'm, I'm going to make some space over here and i'm going to paste this one make sure your system is connected with the internet so i'm going to stop this one and just click on sync now and here you can see this grill build is running and now our pro program or our project is syncing here you can see this. It will take few seconds. After this, what we have to do is we have to simply move into this one over here. That is our com dot example dot whatever you project name you have given to this one. Here we have to create one view holder class. So I'm going to right click on this, click on this, and Java class, and I'm going to name this one main view holder and click on enter. Inside this one, we have to write some code. So we have actually two variables that is one is the name and one is card view. So I'm going to first we have to extend this one the recycler view. So recycler view dot view holder and say this one if I click on this and create the constructor matching super. So I'm not going to do this for now because I need to create this public first we need text view text view and I'm going to name this one txt name after this we need one card view because we are going to attach a card view to each PDF file so I'm going to name this one card view and this will be the card view like this after this we are going to create a parent matching super so click on this create constructor matching super yeah here you can see this and if this one is visible in your device then you have to just delete this part okay after this, make some space over here and we have to write txt name is equal to item view. We are going to extract this from this item view. Item view dot find view by id r dot id. We have set the id that is pdf underscore txt name for that text view. And after this, we have set card view name to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot 
we have set that name to PDF card view, right? So I'm going to select this one and our task for this main view holder is done. After this, let me just close this one and I'm going to close this one too and this one too. After this and this one as well, I don't need this one. Okay, so after this, we are going to create one adapter class for this one. So right click on this, select new, select class and here we have to name this main adapter hit enter this will create a new class inside this one i'm going to extend this class with recycler view dot adapter and inside this one we have to pass the view holder so our view holder name is main view holder you can see this after this you have to just make some space and click on this one and implement methods select these all and click on ok this will implement all the method okay before we write anything inside this one, first let me make some space and here we, are, we need actually two stuff that is private context and I'm doing this one context and another thing is private and we need list and this is of file type and press alt enter so that it can actually import the library here you can see this it's imported two library or one is for file one is for list I'm going to name this list that is PDF files. Okay, remove these stuff. If you have this, like this one, and let me just remove this one too, like this. Yeah, now everything is in place. Now we have to create the constructor for this one. So either you can right click on this and click on generate, and you will see a pop up like this, or you can simply click Alt and insert in your keyboard, and you will find a stuff like this one just click on constructor select these two and click on ok this will create a constructor like this one. after this move back inside this one that is main view holder and here by default it's returning null so i'm going to delete this one and i'm going to return new main view holder inside this one we have to pass this layout inflator dot from we have to pass the context so we have already created this one over here so context and dot we have to write inflate okay inflate and inside this one we have to type r dot layout layout dot and we have created rv underscore items and we have to pass parent in the second parameter and the third one will be false just simply write like this now the task for this one is done after this in the holder on bind view holder we have to bind the view okay so here we are going to extract this from the holder holder dot txt name dot set text and i'm going to set that text from the pdf files dot get we have to pass a position we have already have the index from here so i'm going to write this position over here and dot get name i'm going to extract that name and going to set that into the view holder after this holder dot txt name dot set selected and make this one true and now our task for this one is also done. Uh, finally, we are going to fetch the count, the number of counts, how many PDF files in our device. So that will be in this list view. Whenever we actually call this main adapter with the help of this constructor, we are actually passing the values, the list file from the main activity. We are going to pass that and that will be assigned to this one. So we are going to fetch the size for this one. So let me just Fetch the size so PDF files dot size and now the task for this one is done. Now move back into the main activity, double click on this, and here, first thing what we have to do is we have to create few variables over here. So make some space. First is private and main adapter. I'm going to make this one main adapter and I'm going to name this one adapter. After this, I'm going to create a private file and alt enter to import the library or you can simply click on this it will automatically import the library here you can see this you can minimize this one and file of sorry not file this list of type file okay and i'm going to this one i'll enter to import the list and it will be pdf list after this i'm going to need one recycler view because we have to connect the View with the code as well so recycler view and set this one okay so first we are going to ask for the permission from the user for that i'm going to write one method that will be the 
private void runtime permission okay inside this one i'm going to use the dexter for that we have already added the dependency inside this one here you can see this now we can use the function available inside this one so i'm going to close this one and move back over here and here we have to simply type dexter dot with context and inside this one we have to pass this main activity main activity dot this and we have to write dot with permissions not permissions because we are going to ask for only one permission so with permission and set this one we have to write manifest manifest dot permission this one is manifest manifest dot permission this one after this we have to write read external storage dot with listener and said this one we have to pass for new permission listener and when we type this one automatically these three methods are over right here at last you can see it's showing an error so here we have to write this dot check and said this one whatever you want to perform on this on permission granted you can write over here and whatever you want to perform on this deny you can write over here so let me start the app and let's check this time if it asks for the user permission or not. So I'm going to start this one and it's griddle build is running. And our activity is started. But this time it's not asking for any permission because we haven't called this method inside this one that is on create. So we have to call this method inside this one that is run time, run time permission. Now restart the app and let's check this time. And here you can see this allow B days PDF reader to access photos, media, and files. If I deny it, nothing happens. It actually opened this one. So when we deny, what we have to do is we have to keep asking for the permissions. So inside this one, we have to write one line of code that is permission token dot continue permission request. Now restart the app and let's check what will happen if I deny this time. Deny this one. And Let's open again PDF reader. Oh, sorry, not this one. We have to open B degrees PDF. So here we have this. And here you can see this, it's again asking for the permission. So now the task for this one is done. Next thing what we have to do is, first we have to fetch all the details, all the PDF available in our device and store into the my files. Okay. So inside this one, I'm going to create one new method let me just make some space over here and here i'm going to write one method that is public and this method is going to return a array list of type file and this the name of this method will be find pdf and this method is going to accept one file okay so array list it's showing an error because it's expecting a return type of array list file, but we haven't returned anything yet. That's why it's showing an error. So that will be automatically resolved once we complete this method. So file, inside this one, I'm going to name this one array list is equal to new array list, like this one. Here, we have to create one file type. So file, file type error files is equal to file dot list files, like this one. After this, we have to write a for loop, so for, and this is advanced, advanced for loop, so that's why file, single, file, I'm going to search for this one, and just put this colon, and files, inside this one, we are going to check that if single file dot is directory, and not single file is hidden okay if this is true then add a list dot add all and say this one we have to pass find find pdf and say this one we have to pass single file like this one now the task for this one is done after this we have to write this else condition and say this one we are going to check that if single file dot get name 
dot ends with ends with dot pdf and if this is true then add a list dot add and we have to add this single file like this one okay after this now this add a list find pdf is ready okay so it's showing in errors because we haven't returned the file so i'm going to return this one return add a list and now when i write this the error error is automatically resolved next thing we have to write one method that is to display the all pdf files so i'm going to write this one over here so public and i'm going to write this void display pdf and inside this one we are going to use this recycler view is equal to and i'm going to connect this one with r dot id and we have given the name rv and here i'm going to write this recycler view dot set has fixed size make this one true after this recycler view dot set we have to set the layout layout manager new and i'm going to set this grid layout manager and this will be this and i'm going to set the column count to three after this we have to set this pdf list is equal to new array list and set this one we have to just put the colon at the last and finally we have to write this pdf list dot add all and set this one we have to just add all we have to find pdf and we have to put this inside this one that is environment dot get external storage directory this one the first one and now we have to put this colon over here and finally we have to set the adapter so adapter is equal to new main adapter and set this one we have to pass this and second is pdf list not this pdf yeah pdf list after this we have to just recycler view dot set adapter we have to set the adapter inside this one we have to pass the adapter now this display pdf is ready next thing what we have to do is just we have to call this method over here i'm going to copy this copy this one and when the user accept the permission that is allowed then we have to call this method so i'm going to start this once again and let's see if this one working or not so i'm going to start this one and here you can see this if i deny it nothing is visible over here let me just close this once again and i'm going to start this one and i'm going to give the permission that is allow and here you can see this every pdf from my device is visible over here so if i click on this nothing happens because we haven't coded for that okay so here you can see this you can also change the layout for this one you can make this one on the right side like this the row side you have to make changes over here here you can just remove this or you can change this count to one if you make this one one then it will be of only one box will be here here you can see this we have only one you can put it like this you can change the alignment for the pdf you can put the image over here and text on the right side and in the same way you can change the views for this one too okay so i'm going to revert it to the original position so i'm going to start this one and here you can see this so that's it for this video guys in the next video i'm going to show you how to open this pdf when i click on this we are going to move to a new activity and there you can actually see that pdf file you can read it, it you can zoom it you can zoom out everything will be performed okay so just stay tuned subscribe and share with your friends thanks for watching hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in previous video i have already shown you how to take runtime permission from the user to access the internal storage of the device and I have also shown you how to fetch all the PDF files available in our device and show this in the recycler view. So if you have not watched the video, then just go to description there. I put the link for my previous video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a click operation on this particular PDF or any of this so that this PDF will be open in a new activity and we can read it, zoom it. And I'm also going to show you a new design for a particular PDF. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this. After this, first thing what we have to do is we have to create one interface. So right click on this, click on new and select class. Here you have to select this interface and inside this one, I'm going to name this interface on PDF selection, PDF selected listener. 
or select listener. Hit enter. This will create a new interface. Interface only contains the declaration, not the body of any method. So I'm going to define one method or declare one method over here. So on PDF selected inside this one, we have to write file and it's going to accept. You have to just click Alt Enter, press Alt Enter. And now the task for this one is done. Let me just close this. After this, we have to move to this activity that is main adapter inside this one. First, I'm going to create one variable for this on PDF select listener. So private and set this one, we have to write on PDF select listener and I'm going to name this one listener like this one. So we have to create a matching constructor for all of these three. So I'm going to delete this one and either you can right click on this and click on refactor, not refactor, generate, or you can simply click uh, press alt and insert in your keyboard and click on this constructor select these all three and click on ok this will create a matching constructor if this one error is showing in your device so not to worry about this we are going to resolve this okay after this we have to move inside this on bind view holder here we have to create a click listener for that particular view so i'm going to write this holder dot card view and set this one we have to set on click listener and new view on click listener Inside this one, we have to simply type listener dot on PDF selected. And inside this one, we have to pass PDF files dot get from where we get the position that is in the, this position variable. Here you can see this. With the help of this position, we can fetch a particular PDF file and we can identify which PDF is being clicked. Okay. After this, we have to simply move into the main activity here inside this one. And here, as this is an interface, so we need here we have only the body declaration, sorry, method declaration. We need a body for this one. So I'm going to implement that method inside this one. So this is a main activity, extend this one. So I'm going to implement methods, implement interface actually. So implement on PDF selected listener. And when we write, this will show an error because the method is not implemented. So click on this and click on implement method, select the first one and click on OK. Here you can see this on PDF selected, it's showing an error. So we are going to resolve this, not to worry. So we have to pass this over here only like this and the issue is resolved. Here you can see this, no issue is remaining. If I move back over here, the issue is resolved. So I'm going to close this one. And inside this on PDF selected, we need to start a new activity. So I'm going to create a new activity inside this one. So click on this, click on activity and select an empty activity. And I'm going to name this one PDF activity. So I'm going to change from main activity to PDF activity and click on finish. This will create a new activity. Here we have this. Now move back inside this one. And here we have to write a few line of code so that we, when we click on that, we move to this PDF activity. In the main act I'm right now I'm in the main activity and here I'm going to write start activity this one inside this one we have to write new intent inside this one we have to pass main activity the current one where we are dot this and where we have to move to the pdf activity dot class after this we have to simply just start this activity before we start we have to put something inside this one so put extra and we have to put the path so I'm going to put the path inside this one. So comma file dot get absolute path like this. Okay, showing an error why. Let's check it. Rename reference. Okay. It's showing an error because we have to put this all, just cut it and we have to put it over here. Just paste it and here you can see this now the error is resolved. Now we have to put the colon over here. Now if I start this time our application and let's check we try to click on this one. So now it's created build is running. So it's installing and when I click on this we are on the new activity. In the new activity we haven't designed anything. Okay so inside this one we have to actually add before we start anything we have to view the pdf file okay so before we start coding further first we have to add one dependency inside this one build.gradle 
Inside this one, we have to add one dependency that is for Android PDF Viewer. You can visit this link or I'm going to put this link in the description of this video so that you can access it over here. So with the help of this Android PDF Viewer, you can actually view the PDF. So I'm going to add this dependency. So I'm going to copy this line and move back over here and paste it over here and click on sync now. And now I'm going to start this and let's check if there is any issue in our application. So here you can see this. If this happens in your system, then not to worry, I'm going to show you how to resolve this issue. Why this one is happening? Because we have added this new dependency. It contains some method which is already present in some other dependency. So it's showing duplicate class is available inside this one. So to resolve this issue, we have to actually make one line of change into this cradle.property. So move back over here and here we have to put one small stuff, one single line. You can visit this link, yeah, this one. We have to just put this one. Android.enable jettifier is equal to true. What is this? The Android plugin automatically migrates existing third party libraries to use Android X by rewriting their binary. So when we, I use this, I'm not going to use any dependency. The duplicate class issue will be resolved when I put it in my properties. So gradle.properties inside this one, we have to put this. I'm going to paste this one and click on sync now. And now I'm going to restart the application. Now let's check this time if this one is working fine or not. So here you can see this. Now we don't have any issue. It means that this one is working fine. Now we can use the dependency. Okay, so let me just close this one too and move back over here to this one. That is, we have designed this activity underscore PDF and said this one, we have to add a PDF viewer. So first thing I'm going to change this constraint layout to relative layout. So change this one to relative layout. And inside this one, I'm going to add one PDF viewer. So we have added this dependency for this PDF viewer and now I'm using that one. So this will be match parent and match parent and we have to set one ID for this one. So I'm going to set the ID to PDF viewer or I can simply say PDF view and just close this. And now the design is ready. We don't need to make any changes inside this one. After this, we have to simply move to this PDF activity. So double click on this. And here, what we have to do is we have actually passed the path from here. In the main activity, we have passed the path on which we have clicked the PDF. Move back over here so that I can make you then you can easily understand. So whenever I click on this, the path for this file is being passed inside this one. Whenever the new activity is, uh, new activity is being open or being started, we are passing a values inside that. That is the exact path of this one. So I'm going to extract that path from the intent. So here I'm going to take one variable that is a string. And this is file path and initially it will be null. Okay, move back over here and here I'm going to just type PDF, PDF view. Okay, showing an issue because we haven't created, we haven't imported this library for this one. So PDF view and we have to press alt enter, import class. So this will import this class. If you can't able to do like the same, so you can directly write it over here. After this, we have to write PDF view is equal to find view by id r dot id and we have set the id for this one is pdf view so i'm going to use that pdf view inside this one after this we have to extract the file path so file path is equal to get intent dot get string extra and we have used the key that is path so this is the variable this is the name of the path here you can see this, we have set the name. You have to write exactly same. If any letter is in capital, then you also have to write that letter in capital over here. After this, we have to simply open that file. So file, file is equal to new file. And set this one, we have to pass a file path. After this, we have to just create a URI object. So URI, and I'm going to name this one path. Press Alt Enter so that it can import the library or import the class. So is equal to URI dot from file and we have to pass the file. 
Now I have passed this and simply we have to start this PDF view dot from URI inside this one we have to pass the path and dot load. Now our task for this one is done. Let's start this and let's check if our, I can open the PDF file or not. So I've started the application here you can see this install is done. Now I'm going to click on this and here you can see this now my PDF file is open and you can also read and zoom out and zoom in. Okay, so then the task is done. If you are satisfied with this view, then it's totally fine. I'm going to show you how to design a new view for this one. So let's stop this and we have to move back inside this one. That is activity RV underscore item. And here we have to make few changes so that I'm going to change the design for this one. So first thing, move back to this layer, linear layout. And here we have to make changes in the height and width. So width is match pattern, that's totally fine. I'm going to change this one to 80 dp. Okay, not worry, not to worry, just keep following me. Okay, and change this orientation from vertical to horizontal. Like this one, I'm going to give a new view to each item. Okay, after this, move inside this one image view, and I'm going to change the height and width. So I'm going to change the height width to 80 dp, and I'm going to change the height to 50 dp. Here you can see that this one is looking nice. Okay. After this, we don't need to make any changes inside this one. We have to move to this text view and here we have to make one small changes, few small changes. This match height, make this one match parent, sorry, layout height, make this one match parent. And here you can see this. After this, we have to simply make one small change. That is, we have to send, set the layout gravity or simply the gravity, this one to center, center vertical, this one. And now this text is in the center. Now, if I start the application, still it will look odd for sure. Here you can see this, we have three like this, but this one is not looking nice. So why this one is happening? We have changed all the design because if you move to this one, that is main activity, here you can see this, we have set the recycler view dot set layout manager. So how many columns you want? So I have set this three, change this one to one and restart the application and move back inside this one. Here you can see this. This one is looking much better than that one. If you are satisfied with that, then don't, no need to make changes. If you like this one, then you can keep this. So that's it for this video, guys. We have completed this PDF days PDF reader. If I'm going to click on this, this is still will open. Okay. So just subscribe and share with your friends. And thanks for watching. Just keep supporting and keep loving us.